Hip and knee replacement is some of the most common surgery that is performed and robotic assistance is continuing to improve patient outcomes. I'm Dr. Travis Rump from Salina Regional Orthopedic Clinic and I'm here today to talk to you about robotic assisted hip and knee replacement. Dr. Rump, thank you so much for coming on the show. We're going to be talking about uh, orthopedic surgery, in particular the orthopedic robot surgery. Yeah, so thanks for having me. So robotic assisted joint replacement is the way that we do joint replacement here at Salina Regional. Um, basically, uh, we take a CT scan of your knee and we plug that into a computer software and that helps to build a 3D model of your knee. And then that helps us to kind of size the implant to be the most specific appropriate size for each individual patient and helps us to put it in the most accurate position as possible. So what are, what are the main advantages for it? Yeah, that's a great question. So uh, a lot of the new emerging data is very, very encouraging. It is uh, somewhat of a new technology. It has been around since 2006. However, we're finally starting to get good data on that. Um, and some of the best, best data that's out there shows that it helps us to put the implants in the most uh, perfect or anatomic positions as possible. There are things called safe zones that we are striving for in hip and knee replacement. And what we are finding is that our radiographic, meaning x-ray outcomes for hip and knee replacement after the robot far exceed that of what you could do with standard instrumentation or the traditional methods that are done. Another recent study that came out actually showed uh, improved pain scores. So that's something that we can say now is that patients who had robotic assisted joint replacement took less narcotic pain med medication had le uh, better pain scores in their post-operative period and shorter length of hospital stay than patients that had them done in traditional methods. And it's important to know, you're doing the surgery. The robot's not doing the surgery. That is correct, yes. It is robotic assisted joint replacement. So I or Dr. Riley are still performing the surgery. It is not the robot doing it. The robot helps us to stay in some preset parameters so we cannot stray from those and to try to help it put in as perfect as possible. So rest assured the surgeon is in control and is performing the surgery under robotic assistance. So who should get the surgery? Who are your candidates? In my opinion, anybody that's a candidate for a primary hip or knee replacement is a candidate for robotic assisted joint replacement. I have migrated to uh, exclusively robotic assisted hip and knee replacement. Um, I was trained under conventional methods just like everybody else, but when I found this technology and started using it, I just feel the results are so much better and that the outcomes are continuing to improve and that in the future, I believe that all joint replacement will likely be robotic if it continues in this direction. Thank you so much for some great information. And thank you for watching. For more information, please visit Salina Regional Orthopedic Clinic.com and like them on Facebook.